Hi there, afternoon everyone. Um, this is Mr. Lynott, Coach Mark, and new project. And today we're talking about cardboard. And we're, there's many ways to put cardboard together. Today we're gonna to focus on the slot method. Here's a piece that's been cut, and another piece that's been cut. And when you slide them together along each cut, they support one another and um, allow the cardboard to stick together and to stand. You can twist in many directions. Very simple way of engineering cardboard. And I thought, why not try and make some 3D animals uh, using this method? So remember, it's just the slot method. In each of these uh, pieces, I've only cut down, say, an inch, an inch and a half. Remember that going forward. So I started off my first project by drawing out an elephant shape. And I Googled it. There's many types of elephant shapes out there. I drew the, the uh, trunk going upward. I believe that's meant to represent good luck. <laughs> I cut a slot here, a slot here. These are for the legs. And I cut a slot here for the ears. Start with the ear shape. Ear shape, for me, kind of looks like a bow tie. And I didn't cut all the way through. When I cut it, my next piece, I cut like very close to the edge right there. But when I slide it, on, stays, okay, starting to look like an elephant already. It has one set of legs, so it needs just another set. But what's gonna support it? So I cut these pieces of cardboard from the scraps. They have two slots in them, one here and one here, same here. One of these slots is going to slide down the opening on the elephant. And then I'm going to take next up where the leg shapes. I cut two openings at the top. I'm going to attach those on the second slot upside down I got them on backward And there is my elephant. It does stand. And I will have pictures to go along with that. I'm going to show you how to make a reindeer next. <laughs> 